Hello everyone. I have some videos that have not been, I guess I can say public, not posted public yet. So I may have some videos out of order as in, I may say this, I may post one video before I post an order video, I guess I can say, if I am saying that right. So please keep this in mind. You know, I don't want to post many videos all in one week. I kind of want them to be spread out. So I think I have like over 20 or more videos that are not public yet maybe more than that anyways at this point of time so i don't know when i am going to post this video but anyways um i have been going through some things that may seem unbelievable like as it seems the more I experience God, it's like the more, it's like the Bible becomes more and more real. And I have been speaking about Ephesians chapter six, verse 12, like <laughs> that verse is becoming more and more real to me like it may be something inside of our mind yes our fight is not with humans but with demons but i don't think huh, the demonic i probably should say i don't think we know to what extreme and i may not know to what extreme but i am learning like that is so oh my lord that is so so real i think there have been marriages that have broken up because of demonic influence Meaning that the woman and the man may have loved each other so much, but they probably didn't understand what was going on. Like they may have thought, okay, the woman is doing something, the, the man is doing something. So they may have blamed each other, but they may have not considered that there is or there may have been a demonic element and like i said i have been going through some things and i have been learning more and more Demons are extremely, extremely real. I already, I believe I had, I have now, before I started learning more and more, my mind was set to serve God anyway. But learning the stuff that I have been learning, I believe it is insane, extremely, 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 extremely dangerous to live this life without Jesus Christ, my Lord, extremely. And I don't think some people actually know we may blame this person for doing this wrong thing 
we may blame that person for doing that wrong thing, but do we actually consider that it may be something that is whatever, encouraging or whatever, pushing that person or whatever to do, or are we considering that it may be demons that is making confusion. Demons are defeated. You know, sometimes I hear very ignorant things like that, like as if demons can't attack or influence or whatever else like that. I think that is a very big deception, believing that demons can't intervene into our lives. Oh, man, I have been learning quite a bit these days, quite a bit more than maybe I shouldn't say a whole lot, but I have been learning some. And humility goes a long way. Meekness goes a long way. Like learning to close your mouth goes a long way. Because if your enemy is being, if your enemy is being influenced by a demon, what can you say? What can you, like, how can you reason with that person? You have to fight it spiritually. You have to rebuke it. My Lord. You have to rebuke it. I am telling you, our fight is with the demonic, not so much with the humans. Please understand this. I may post this video today. I may. So if you are married, if it be possible, Go back to your spouse. If you have left the house or whatever else like that, go back to your spouse and fight it if you can. Or at the least, pray. Pray to God. Ask him. And when I say pray, pray more than one time. Pray continuously. Pray over and over and over again. Pray. Ask God to reveal to you what is going on. Like, hey, am, am I? Ask God, am I or are you? I mean, are you doing something wrong? Or is your spouse doing something wrong? Like, what can we do to make things work? Like, what is going on? keep praying about it i am telling you i believe if you stay consistent and if you try to do what is right i believe god will reveal to you in time i truly believe so because oh, our fight is with the demonic so please stop saying that demons have been defeated yes their end is the lake of fire, I believe. So in that sense, yes, they have been defeated, but they can, I believe many of them can still intervene in people's lives. So some people may say you should not talk about demons. Why shouldn't you? Paul is telling us in Ephesians, I believe it was Paul, the Apostle Paul is telling us that our fight, let me paraphrase it, our fight is with the demonic, not with the humans. So why can't we speak about the demons? So, oh man, if you <laughs> experienced what I have been experiencing, saying something like demons have been defeated would not even come out of your mouth. 
they are so real. And I believe that they are messing with people's lives. I believe they are messing with your marriage. I truly believe so. In the beginning, things, you know, there may have been some problems, but you and your spouse may have not had a ton of problems. Maybe you had some, but as you stayed married, it may have seen that there are, or, or, or maybe it always have been problems. And then when you have gotten married, the problems may have increased some, or maybe, I'm not sure how to explain myself in this area, but God is not a God of confusion. I believe our fight is with the demonic. So if you are having problems with your marriage, I would say it is demons. A person can say that it is your fault. You should have never done this. A person may blame your spouse and say that they should have never done that. And that may be true. But if you dig deep, I think you will find a demon or demons. I hope this makes sense. So this is one of the reasons why it doesn't make sense for us to fight other humans. It doesn't make sense to get revenge on other humans because if it is a demon, what can fighting a human do if it is a demon or demons? This is why we need to stay in prayer, be prayerful, if that is a word. And what am I thinking? Be prayerful, and you may need to fast. Because I can say this, the stuff I am going through currently is wild. I am not exaggerating. It is wild. Huh. <sighs> so please keep this in mind. Stop fighting humans. Stop fighting humans. Fight against the demonic. Yes, Billy may be doing this. Tommy may be doing this. Sarah may be doing that. Alicia or let me name some names of people that I don't really. I am naming random names. So if this is your name, please don't take offense. Uh, Keisha may be doing this and that. But what is behind them doing those things? I believe you will find a demon or demons. So stop fighting them. Stop fighting them. Fight spiritually. Because if you fight them, I, uh, I believe if you fight them, you are wasting your time. And you may get yourself angry and do or say some things that you should not. I believe we all are going to reap what we sow. So why be provoked by ultimately a demon and you do wrong and possibly get punished for you doing wrong when it may have not been your idea to do what is wrong? This is one of the reasons why it is good to close your mouth. It is good to practice humility. Be humble. Close your mouth, even if it hurts. Close your mouth. Let me stop here. May God bless you.